Outlook News, a weekly update presented by ilostmyjob.com and careercentertoolbox.com, providing information and resources for your job transition. Here's Scott Combs. Despite anemic employment growth statistics, an indication that the economy is recovering and businesses are able to move forward with their plans for growth and expansion, is reflected in the new results of a survey on merger and acquisitions activity from Deloitte. Nearly two-thirds of business professionals in the United States and Canada surveyed by Deloitte say they expect an increase in the average number of deals their companies pursue annually during the next two to five years. However, the initial optimism reflected in the survey, Corporate Development 2011, is tempered by the fact that only 7% of respondents feel that previous deals exceeded their expectations while more than one quarter claim past transactions ultimately failed to meet expectations. Lockheed Martin Space Systems Company, a major business area of the Lockheed Martin Corporation, has announced employment reductions designed to address affordability and improve its competitive posture. Space Systems, which currently employs approximately 16,000 employees in 12 states, will implement a broad-based workforce reduction of roughly 1,200 employees by year-end, Operations across the country will be affected with the largest impact expected at the company's sites in Sunnyvale, California, the Delaware Valley region of Pennsylvania, and Denver, Colorado, where several of the company's major programs are transitioning out of development. While a great deal of research has been devoted to the predictors of happiness and life satisfaction around the world, researchers at Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand wanted to know one thing. What is more important for well-being? providing people with money, or providing them with choices and autonomy. Turns out, freedom and personal autonomy are more important to people's well-being than money. Across three studies and four data sets, researchers observed a consistent and robust finding that societal values of individualism were the best predictors of well-being. Furthermore, if wealth was a significant predictor alone, this effect disappeared when individualism was entered. In short, they found that money leads to autonomy, but it does not add to well-being or happiness. The Consumer Reports Trouble Tracker Index, which measures the amount of financial difficulties consumers face, is statistically unchanged from last month, but consumers are still worse off than they were in March and April. Underlying the Trouble Tracker's problematic movement, nearly one-third of Americans faced one or more financial difficulties up from the prior month. To get the most out of your time with ilostmyjob.com, be sure to visit the What's New section. It's full of timely and helpful information and articles like branding yourself to be headhunted. Thanks for watching. To sign up for free job transition and news updates via email, log on to ilostmyjob.com or careercentertoolbox.com.